Den her seng den står altid klar med, med et øh, mavebælte. Jeg er så paranoid, man kan ikke komme ind til mig. Jeg regner med, at vi skulle ud og, og øh, se dem demonstrere øh, og inspirere øh, os til at, at gøre nogle nye ting. Umiddelbart så er det det her seclusion room, som, øh, som løber igennem hovedet på mig, når øh, jeg tænker på, hvad de, hvad de kan, som vi ikke kan. Altså, jeg holder det så lidt op imod øh, vores bæltefixeringer, og det er jeg da spændt på at se. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry you got lost. Yeah, well. <laughs> But you saw some beautiful Devon countryside. We should it. Uh, okay. Should I'll, um, I'll, Helen's gonna walk you down. We like to think it's state of the art. It's got 60 beds. And as I say, it's for Devon and Cornwall. So this county and the county next to us, which is the one right at the foot of England. And it's, all for, it's an all male facility. So for the last um, 20 years when I've been working in psychiatry, I've never used mechanical restraint. And then we have lockers over there. People can put in phones. The camera won't be able to go in. But I know that we've done a lot of work with our staff in improving their knowledge, skills and attitudes around physical um, interventions, but also around the use of restrictive interventions, so the use of seclusion or an extra care area. Come on, Fred. So we, we want to reduce our use of physical interventions further. So we shuffle in. I want to make sure my colleague's next to me, so I want to feel him there. I just want to block those arms so they're not coming to cause me danger. And block. Watch that elbow as I rotate that round. Keep an eye on that elbow. Up and again, tuck that right in nice and high. And from here, bring that head person straight down then. Walking towards me. Towards me. Okay. On the See the mattress? Right. There you go. And then from there we're out. Jeg synes, at der mangler lidt en kontakt til et andet menneske, når man bliver lukket ind her. Altså man øh, man slipper patienten og lader den være alene i et stykke tid. And you do observe the, the patients all the time. Absolutely. Men kontakten til et andet menneske synes jeg mangler. We never ever 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 close the door, lock somebody in this room if they're at risk of self-harm or for self-harm purposes. Yeah. I don't know uh, uh, whether it's the same in Denmark. I think the, the basic principles behind the system is to try and identify exactly what it is that you're all aiming towards. But um, in England, if we give ourselves um, two months, it, it always takes two months. So I think in our group, we had a really um, interesting conversation about whether reducing the use of mechanical restraint by 50% is enough. If you give yourselves two years, it always takes two years. So <laughs> I think if you aim for 2020, you might still you might get to 2019 and suddenly have a rush. <laughs> A lot of our interventions are around de-escalation. Just look at the ground, that de-escalates itself, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. If you want to go up to this path up here, this is a shortcut, it's thinking about what other resources have we've got. We've got the, a beautiful garden that we can open the door and somebody can go in the garden. Uh, how do you uh, practice de-escalating? How do you it do comes with this way, It comes with experience, don't you think, de-escalating? And we, we have a patients' forums where we try and encourage them to tell us their ideas, how they're feeling on the ward. Also, when we do our um, CNR training, our uh, breakaway and conflict resolution, we are always discussing you know, scenarios and play acting. You know, if somebody were to do this, how would you react? And we, we play the role of the patient as well. Okay. Vi tager en runde, hvor vi hver lige siger, hvad har været godt? Øhm, hvad vil vi gerne vide mere om? Og hvad er det for noget, vi kan tage med os hjem? Så hvad har været godt? Jamen, det, der har gjort allermest indtryk på mig, det har været det store engagement, jeg synes, jeg kan fornemme, at personalet har. I think my philosophy is, if, if it were my son here, mm -hmm. How would I want to be treated as a mother? Det der slår mig mest, det er, det er egentlig øh, den form for omsorg de de udviser. What would I be saying to, you know, what would I expect the staff to say to me? And I, that's just my philosophy, you know, that there's somebody's children. Jeg tror de er gode til at øh, at tale med deres patienter når de kan fornemme at øh, at der er en situation der er ved at køre op. Talking all the time, let them know what we're doing. We're, you know, we're going to go to a seat of de-escalation now. Noget jeg især har lagt mærke til er, at uh, personalet finder man ikke uh, 
bag en computer i gang med at dokumentere, hvad de har lavet. If I feel that, that, that aggression is slowly disappearing, evaporating, I will come off and just put my elbow in the crook, crook of their elbow and just sit them up, sit them up nice and tall, so not compromising that breathing at all. There's no real risk to the patient. Vi prøver også at være meget sammen med patienterne, men, øh, men vi bruger også rigtig meget tid på, på kontoret med at dokumentere. Jeg har generelt egentlig fint nok. Jeg har nogle drømme, og så har jeg også nogle gange paranoia-anfald, paranoia-skråstrej-angstanfald. Mm. Dem har jeg tre gange i ugen. Jeg har været over at se sådan en ret psykiatrisk sygehus over i ja. England, ja. og de har det jo derovre sådan, at de må ikke øh, bæltefixere, Nej. sådan som vi må have i Danmark. Nej, hvad gør de så? Hvis det sådan er helt slemt, så ville de måske... Eller sådan noget. Ja, det havde ja. de også mulighed ja. for. De havde ja. noget, de kaldte en karmbox, ja. hvor der var... Det var sådan en plastikkasse, ja. hvor der var forskellige øh, ting i. No. som man kan bruge til at, at blive adspredt. Jeg tror sgu ikke, jeg kunne bruge til noget. Det, jeg har tænkt mest over, efter jeg kom hjem, det er det her med, med deeskalering. Altså, jeg blev meget mere bevidst om at øh, bruge tiden med den opkørte patient. Den gamle tårnfølge handler. På en anden måde. Og på den måde forsøge at undgå at, at skulle bruge bælter.